forging a path to pro sports is usually reserved for those with elite athletic ability. But at Tulane, one program has proven that there is another avenue through the classroom. Sean Vazan explains in Tulane's Major League Lawyers. For Tulane football, the goal for the team is to win. The goal for many players, to get to the NFL. A select few make it, like wide receiver Ryan Grant, drafted by Washington in 2014. Grant's path from the NC2A to the NFL is the traditional route to the big leagues. But it's not the only way. There's another spot on campus putting Green Wave graduates in professional sports as well. The NFL and the employees, and there the employees were the NFL Players Association. This is Gabe Feldman, director of Tulane's sports law program since 2008. Feldman has steadily put his graduates in professional sports for years. We've had a lot of success, particularly recently, placing our recent alum um, in, in jobs in, with professional sports teams. So I'm in pretty constant contact, and it's one thing I love about my job is not only am I in the classroom, but I also keep a couple toes in the real world. That bridge between students and front offices combined with several high-profile sports law cases like Bounty Gate with the Saints in 2012 or Deflate Gate with Tom Brady last year has made sports law an attractive career choice. And Tulane, an even more attractive option to students from all over the country. And I think people realize I can actually make a career out of working in the sports industry and working as a sports lawyer. So I think there are a lot of high profile cases and the sports industry just itself has exploded over the last 10, 15 years. Feldman says what sets Tulane's program apart is prestige and originality. It operates under the Tulane Law School umbrella, which has a national reputation. But where they differ from other institutions is most law schools only offer sports law classes. But according to Feldman, Tulane is one of just two that offers specific sports law certificates, and they're the oldest one in the nation. There's a fear that if you allow the exemption to end at impasse, then the players are just going to try to get to impasse. In the classroom setting, the focus is less about grades and more about real-world sports law scenarios. We have a baseball arbitration competition, a football negotiation competition, a moot court competition. If there's anything you want to do in the sports industry related to law, we provide those opportunities here. And the whole program is really designed to get students jobs in the sports industry, and we capitalize on all of our connections, whether they're just friends of mine, friends of the program, or alum of the program. Ari Nissim is one of the roughly 50 alumni working in the sports business. A 2004 graduate, Nissim was at one point the New York Jets salary capologist and now is an agent at rapper Jay-Z's Rock Nation Sports Agency, where he represents last year's NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year, Todd Gurley. He knew of Tulane's reputation before he got there, and it was reconfirmed once he left and hit the business world, where he says the green wave web is very strong. One of the uh, people I went to law school with is the general counsel for the Philadelphia Eagles. And I mean, we were in law school at Tulane together. So uh, there, there are a number of us throughout, you know, and I mean, ultimately, when I was at the Jets, I worked for Mike Tannenbaum, who went to Tulane a number of years before I did. So I, I mean, there, there's definitely a connection. Another one of those pupils, Martin Fishman. Once he graduated, he started his own agency, Fishman and Wilts here in New Orleans, and began his career as an NFL agent. He represents former Green Wave cornerback Toria Nixon, former LSU linebacker Lamine Barrow, and a rising star in this year's draft class, Louisiana Tech running back Kenneth Dixon. He says the expertise he gained in law school helped him attract clients even at a very young age. To go through such a great sports law program where you get the background in the Professional Sports League's collective bargaining agreements and the real intersection between labor law and antitrust law, which really is what makes up the basis of sports law, I think provided me with a tremendous uh, experience that may separate me from uh, some of the other agents. And that really is what it all boils down to, because in the ultra-competitive and cutthroat world of professional sports, any connection or advantage must be used, and Feldman is happy to provide it. It's what gets me out of bed each morning. I love teaching, I love writing and researching, but I really love helping my students achieve their dreams, and most of their dreams are getting jobs in the sports industry. The sports law program graduates 75 students a year. That NFL negotiation competition Feldman referred to in the piece 
has become incredibly popular. This year, Kai Harley of the Saints and Jason Fitzgerald of OverTheCap.com were judges.